Welcome to another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Cleaning and inspection of fiber connections is an essential part of any fiber professional's toolkit. Popular cabling standards recommend that fiber connectors and ports should be cleaned and inspected every time a connection is made. This is done to ensure link attenuation and reflectance is kept to a minimum. There are two key issues related to light transmission. The first is attenuation. Debris that is allowed to build up in optical ports and connectors blocks and or deflects light from traveling through the connection, resulting in unwanted link loss. Today's link budgets are tighter than ever and cannot afford to have additional loss caused by obstructions. The second issue is related to reflectance. Built up debris causes a slight air gap between connectors causing a greater amount of light to be reflected back towards the transmitter. This is of special importance to high-powered systems such as telco, broadband, and CATV networks where reflected light could disrupt transmission or in extreme cases cause damage to transmitters. Not only are clean connectors and ports critical for successful fiber optic testing and data transmission, clean connections also help to keep equipment and fiber ports in proper working order. Dust, dirt, and debris may transfer from connector to optical port and build up over time. Repeated connector insertions into a dirty port could grind the debris into other connector end faces inside optical ports, causing irreparable damage resulting in costly repairs. OWL video probe scopes provide 400 times magnification, are multi-mode, single-mode ready, have coaxial illumination, and include probe tips for 2.5 millimeter universal, SC, FC, and LC. Due to variation between different manufacturers' adapter construction, ST probe tips are not supported. Never look into a fiber connector or port without first verifying that the fiber being inspected is completely disconnected from any optical source. Do not turn the focus wheel too far in either direction. Doing so could damage the internal gearing inside the unit causing the unit to be unable to focus. Five to ten turns in either direction should be sufficient for focusing on the connector end face. Scopes damaged from overturning the focus wheel are not covered under warranty. Each scope is tested for proper focus before being shipped. This handheld fiber microscope has an LCD display that allows users to easily inspect inside optical ports in the field or inspect the end faces of fiber optic cables. Well, first of all, we would power on the microscope, which we notice the power button's on the top of the unit here. We just hold it for a few seconds until the unit powers up. You'll see a test display, and then you'll see a blank screen like this because obviously there's nothing plugged in. Uh, here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to inspect the end face of an OTDR launch cable. Uh, the clean connections in OTDR launch cables is very important for proper OTDR testing. So, we just plug the probe into the port, and we locate the end face on the screen there. We notice that we have a nice sharp screen, but if we wanted to focus, we just turn the focus wheel. See, there's out of focus, and so until you get a nice sharp display there. And at this point, I don't really see any dust or debris on this end face, so I would say that this connector is clean. However, it was, if it was dirty, I would just simply uh, take a one-click cleaner uh, like this one here and clean the end face until the uh, end face was clean. Visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com for more information about cleaning and inspection products. This has been another instructional video from OWL, the wise choice in fiber optic test equipment. For more information about additional instructional videos or OWL fiber optic test equipment in general, please visit OWL's website at owl-inc.com. I'm Professor Jim Powers. Thanks for watching.